что то опять он затупил. Не понимаю, либо я что-то там включал, что он сейчас так тупит. Либо в чем вообще проблема. бы еще один штраф сейчас ебану так больше миссия в коньги не вижу short-term investments not in this market we're looking at an annual return of 9.2 percent if you diversify your own. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. I will let you go this time, but remember that drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. <clears throat> так, ну все, можно идти гасить. Нахуй все пошел.
Так, мне всяко сюда, да? это это блять урод опять дохуй блять где я возьму эту инженерию так я могу пасть ни хера не будет да? Слевость 2. Все подрывается, все взрывается. Это привилегия not really a fan of his music myself but that's not what those shows are really about why don't we uh get out of here huh why you notice so it is meeting the new guy tonight in the slaughterhouse copy that pick me up at the station i'll grab my gear by the way i've got something for you murphy 
They call me Pickles. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw a torture stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know. It turned out to be groceries. So they left me. Many that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. What they say, good business is where you find it. I could chimbray. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. I've been in his bed ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is new. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough. He always tells me to be careful when getting in trouble. But the truth is... Not the one running around gangster paradise dressed in blue. Понятно, пойдем. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that, I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now. I feel bad for holding on to it. Would you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy, you're a tough negotiator. But I sure am late. Now, I gotta chillax after all this. I do. We'll proceed with haste. Ah, oh, for God's sake, man! As you command, Officer Steely. I should have had you. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. I'm not the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know they never... Like steal a watch. 
like steal a watch. Грязный вор. Mike. Yes, I'm sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Damn. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He looked angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it, sort of the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. Okay. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. He looked angry. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. that so. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know. I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should get a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. As expected. No, we are not done. Done. We're not. You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. Let's get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? 
We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. Yeah, that's letting you walk easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Oh, ah, there's more over there. Seven. That's got to be his. Hmm. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there mm -hmm. anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. Хуя ты охуел, I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning. And someone got to drop on him. But that's not going to happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Давай по душам, блядь. 
Ты бутылку хоть достань. Он так долго, блядь, копорит, на. Лов. Что-то Робокоп трясется. Замерз он. Так, ну вот типа, да? На этом демка и заканчивалась как раз. Ну в этот раз это побольше миссий выполнил. Ну я надеюсь все миссии, которые здесь были, я их выполнил. Потому что я больше не вижу, чтобы здесь у меня что-то было. Ты там что делаешь? М? Вроде больше никаких активностей нет. По идее нам надо садиться уже и все, и, и сваливать, да? Ну, по идее так-то оно так. Ну-ка, пробуем. Покинуть зону. Сторону не можно провалить. Подожди. Угу. Найти нарушение. Типа, бля, еще одно нарушение надо найти. Ладно. Найду. Но уже позже. Так что, давай, счастливо. Он и так у нас еще два раза подряд с тобой выкидывал. Непонятно почему. Вот. Но найду это сраное нарушение. Что есть еще не так. Да, честно. Так, может вот это нарушение? Нет, это не оно. Что оно здесь? Сумка украденная. Ящик с нюком. О, может вот это? Нет, тоже не оно. А вон там что-то. Что-то там вот происходит. Сейчас ему дам пизды, блядь. Ты что там кидаешь? А он мусор выкидывает. You have no idea how much it reeks. 
Это не оправдание. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage, and now I have to pay for removing it myself? That's ridiculous. The moral is, stay away from fishy activity. Всего шесть и шести. Все. Вот это было последнее нарушение. Так. Ну теперь все. Теперь все. Теперь до свидания.